everyone, welcome back to How Inez Rolls. Today I'm going to be making a newer version of something that's a classic meal. Hmm, I'll show you, it's Philly cheesesteak egg rolls and I'm super excited to make them. Let's go. So like I said, it's a newer version of something classic. It's because I'm going to be using egg roll wrappers and I've used these before. When I've made my Tex-Mex egg rolls, I'll link that up here. But I'm also going to be using rice wrappers. So I'm, I don't usually use the rice paper wrappers very often. In fact, I've only used it twice before and pretty much a disaster. So I did some research and I think I'm ready. So I'm gonna show you. And the reason I'm using the rice is because Paul is doing such a great job eating more gluten-free. So, and the reason he is, is not because he has celiac, but because he has a sensitivity to gluten, which I probably do too. However, he's more in tune to his body that with the aches and pains and joints and not being able to sleep at night. So tr small transition in his diet has been helpful to his um, health. So I am just trying to support him and he loves Philly cheesesteaks. So Scarlett over at Ate It, Made It, Love It, Made It, Ate It, Love It. It's kind of a mouthful, but she is an awesome cook she puts lots of wonderful recipes out and she does like step by step which i love so i'd like to take snapshots so this was one and i have i'm going to link the video or link her website below so if you want to get watch the video or if you just kind of want to read the recipe it'll be down below in the in the description box Plus, I want to be able to share with you that tomorrow I'm going to be going live and something extra special is going to start. So I hope that you'll be able to join me 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time because good stuff is rolling out. So what I need to do first is chop up some bell peppers. Pretty easy. So I'm just going to be chopping up these peppers as finely as possible because I know my family. So truly up to you how you want to do this. Also, I'm going to be using minced onion because if you have been, uh, or dehydrated minced onion, if you have been following me for a little while, you know that we, aside from Paul, <laughs> aren't huge fans of onions. So if this was just for Paul, I would make them big and chunky and he would love the bell peppers. Not so much for the kids or myself. So we're just gonna make sure we cook those down. But I wanted to also share with you as now that I'm in summer mode, I'm going to be bringing out, we're throwing some ideas around Paul and I about maybe doing some grilling specials, maybe like a mini series with grilling because with the summer we do love to grill a lot and he is so good at it. So you'll see more appearances of Paul. So let me know in the comments if that's something that you're interested in. So hopefully by next week we might have our first one up and I'm so excited. So, let me just finish bringing the, uh, topping these up and I'll bring it closer. In a little bit of, of butter, I'm just going to kind of sweat those down. So while those are cooking behind me, they're over there, I am going to chop up some roast beef deli meat. So I got a pound of it and it's perfect. So I'm just gonna chop this up and then get it ready to add. Now I'll add my garlic and of course onion into this as well so it can kind of get all together, all those flavors. It'll be delicious. So let me get chopping on this and then I'll add it to the pan. All right, I've gotten already all the ingredients now. It's starting to smell super good and I'm just gonna add the roast beef. I'll just brown it up a little bit so it'll be all mixed in and ready to go. It'll be nice and hot and then the last ingredient all I have to do is add some cheese. Smells delicious! Okay it's been a couple of minutes and doesn't it look delicious? So these smaller chops are going to help be, um, to be able to get it into the egg roll wrappers and not lose them or have such big amounts of bite. And so now I'm just gonna add some cheese. Now the recipe calls for mozzarella and pepper jack. 
But I had Mon or Monterey Jack, so that's what we're getting. <laughs> so this is gonna be delicious. I'm just gonna mix this in, and then I'll just get started. that goodness and cheese. I may even sprinkle a little bit more on top, but maybe not because, oh yeah, that looks really good. Yum. So as you can see, I have my assembly station. I have my egg roll wrappers, which I found in the grocery section. At, I find them at like every store. So you just don't have to go to a specialty Asian store, but your grocery section, your produce section, it's gonna be there. Um, I also have a pan with some foil, which I'm gonna spray some uh, lightly with the cooking spray so it won't stick, because these are um, doughy, we don't want them to stick. So that's why we're going to make sure we put something down. I mean, if I had more, I could use my foil with the, the non-stick foil, <laughs> but I just wanted to spray it just to show you. Okay, so half of these I'm going to use with this, and then the other half I'm going to use the rice paper, and I'll show you that process. So this one's actually going to be cooked, and this one is not. These are gonna be more like spring rolls. That's why my, my ingredients inside are nice and cooked, so if Paul just wants to heat them in a microwave, totally fine, or he likes to eat things cold too. So everything's all cooked through, so I'll do that next, but. First, when I'm using these, I just wet my fingers and kind of go along the seams because that's what's gonna seal it up. And I'm just gonna just take about a tablespoon, maybe two. Yeah, I'm gonna do two. And then I'm just going to fold it up like an envelope. And I'll bring you closer so you can see this process. But it's pretty easy and super fun. thinking and as you have so many left over and it is so true I literally made six but that's okay because really this one is really for Paul this is going to be something he can eat throughout the weekend a little bit so maybe just two meals now in hindsight I probably should have done two pounds because we're a family and the kids like to eat and snack and these would be great to snack on so that'll be fine for our meal later with some sides I'll make some noodles for us but for Paul, he's going to have these hopefully for more than one meal. So let me put these away and guess what I'm gonna make out of those? Tex-Mex egg rolls, so I'll work on that tomorrow night. But yummy, let's get going on the rice paper one. Before I can start on my rice ones, I have to get these ones in the oven and I forgot to do the egg wash. So I just whisked up an egg and I'm just going to coat it. Now, if you've done all of them, you'll probably make at least a dozen. Uh, maybe a little bit more. So if you're wanting more than a dozen, I'd go for two pounds. And you could always put them in the freezer too if you if you have leftovers. But these are just gonna go into the oven for about 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna kind of keep my eye on them because I like them a certain way. So because I've used this a lot, this, uh, this wrapping paper, so to say, I, I use it a lot. So I kind of like them extra crispy. So I'm gonna make sure I wash them without letting them get burned. So let me get these in, and now I can get started on the rice ones. So when you open your rice papers, they're pretty like, they sound like plastic. <laughs> okay, so there's gonna be a bumpy side and a smooth side. That smooth side is actually gonna go on the cutting board. The bumpy side's gonna go in the mixture. So just kind of remember that. And then you'll need a plate of water. If you have a bowl, that'll work too. Warm water is best. I kind of have it cooler right now, so I kind of have to submerge it a little bit more, but that's okay. I don't, I'd don't. i rather it go slow than be too warm and turn to goo, if you know what I mean. So I'm just, gonna, I'm just trying to activate it and soften it up. And you'll start to feel it in your fingers that it's starting to get more pliable. And that's when we'll move it to the cutting board. So I'm just, I can feel it starting. So I'm going to move it over very quickly here. And then there's still a little bit of like juice in the meat sauce. So that will like soften up the middle a little bit more. 
here we go. So I'm just gonna take that over and it's like, like practically invisible. So I know you can't see it, but I'm gonna bring it closer and try to show it to you the process up close. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of this meat mixture and then I'm rolling from the bottom to try to alleviate some of the tearing that could happen with this fragile paper. And voila. A rice paper egg roll. So I'm gonna bring you closer so I can show you the process up close. All right, here we go. Bumpy side's gonna go into the food, smooth side down into the, on the um, cutting board. So I'm just trying to activate it. Pretty more pliable now. Working from the bottom. some extras here I will definitely try some different combinations for Paul maybe like having tacos or even putting some of the Tex-Mex in here as well but let me show you what came out so these ones do not need to be cooked they can just be eaten as is and so I'm gonna serve Paul's with some um, probably some veggies some uh, cucumbers with some seasonings maybe the everything but the bagel seasoning that's so popular right now and then here are the yummy egg rolls that I'm going to serve with some ramen. Such an easy meal, really. And I would, in the future, probably use two pounds because then I can have some in the freezer or at least enough for the next day for lunches or another meal. So I stick around. I am going to be showing you some of these reactions and we'll find out if Paul really likes these, like these egg rolls. Fingers crossed. All right, so I've already started plating everybody's. I figured for Ezzy, he probably would just want one. But um, we also have some yummy little um, cucumbers with some lemon and chili powder. And, and then play. here's Paul's with some dip that he could use, like I just used a beef bouillon. So I'm ex really excited. It smells delicious and I can't wait. Can you wait? I don't like ice cream. <laughs> Do you think you're going to try it, though? Mm -hmm. You'll try it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How is it? Mm -hmm. I agree. As I'm showing behind the camera. It's very, very good. What do you think, Kobe? Good. Good? Now, <laughs> now, you don't have to eat all of those at once if you want to take some to work. And then we have some cucumbers and it's just all good. Definitely a repeat. Thanks for stopping by and sharing this wonderful meal. Perfect for summer. So definitely a repeat. I'm going to make this again. It was so good. I am gonna double up on the meat next time because it's just good to have it in the fridge for the next day. But if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Tell me in the comments if you're gonna be making it or not. And now that it's summertime, there may be more vlogs coming out or more videos coming out. So stay tuned. You never know what I'll be rolling out next. Bye you guys and see you tomorrow.